Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2015 romance film called Suddenly 17. The movie opens up with a beautiful 28-year-old young woman, Leong Sha, who wakes up before her boyfriend and gets ready putting on her makeup. Today is her 3,656th day of living with her boyfriend, Mao Liang. She prepares breakfast for Mao while he wakes up at 7 o'clock sharp and gets ready for the office. Later as Mao eats breakfast, Liang just stares at him with a weird smile on her face. Mao asks her if everything is alright. Suddenly, she gets up and takes out a diamond ring from Mao's pocket, assuming that he bought it for her. Sadly, Mao reveals that the ring is actually for his boss, Mr. Gao's wife. Liang is heartbroken and remembers how 10 years before, Mao had promised to marry her in 10 years. However, Mao ignores her feelings and leaves while talking to Mr. Gao on the phone. In the next scene, a distraught Liang can be seen alone inside the house eating junk food and flipping through the channels on the TV. Suddenly, she comes across an advertisement about a magic chocolate that'll make the consumer look younger and more beautiful. Without thinking twice, Liang orders the chocolates. Later, she pays a visit to her best friend, Bai Xianing, and tells her everything about how she is feeling. Hearing her pitiful condition, Bai comes up with a plan to force Mao to propose to Liang at her wedding tomorrow. Liang is skeptical about the idea, but Bai insists that it is a good idea. The next day, while Liang is on her way to attend Bai's wedding, the owner of the magical chocolate factory blocks her way and delivers the chocolates to her. Liang is surprised that he knew her location, but before she can question him, he vanishes from sight. At the wedding, after Bai's husband presents her with a gift and kisses her, Bai asks Liang to step up front and also calls Mao to the stage. She then suggests the couple propose to each other as she wants them to be married like her. Liang is happy about it, but Mao feels embarrassed and tells her that they should not interfere in their wedding. Meanwhile, he gets a call and storms out. Sensing that Mao is angry, Liang follows him in her car and tries to contact him over the phone. After multiple attempts, Mao accepts the call and before Liang can say anything, he says that they should break up. Liang is shocked to hear this and tries to talk to him, but Mao cuts the call short and speeds through traffic. Heartbroken, Liang opens the box of chocolates, eats one, and drives away. While Liang is driving, we can see the rainy day changing into a pleasant one, along with some magical changes happening inside her nervous system. Due to the side effects of the magical chocolate, Liang feels dizzy and hits a car stopped at the red sign. Soon, the driver of the damaged car approaches Liang and asks her to come out. When the driver threatens to call the police, she runs away. In the following scene, Liang is in front of a big screen and notices clips of the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Surprise, she asks the man what year it is and he replies, it's 2016. This shocks Liang as in her mind, she is a young 17-year-old teenager. Just then, Liang gets a call from Bai but has no idea how to answer the call. So, the same man helps her with it. Later, Liang can be seen with her best friend Bai. She is surprised by the fact that Bai has grown old. After listening to her weird claims, Bai asks Liang to tell her age and the latter replies that she is 17. Bai then understands that Liang is time traveling in her mind and discloses to her that she is already 28 years old and has been living with Mao for over 10 years. Sad to learn about her present life, Liang dresses like a teenager and starts taking pictures. She also keeps an iPad in her bag, being fascinated with its features. After some time, Mao arrives and tells Liang that they should talk. They sit at a table facing each other, where Mao tells Liang that since she does not prefer to work, he will fulfill her wishes. Liang feels offended to hear this and accuses Mao of not letting her work in the first place. Before storming out of the house, she also tells Mao that it is her house and she no longer wants him there. Later, Liang and Bai go to a club and start dancing to their college song. On the other hand, Mao becomes worried when he fails to find his iPad, which contains important documents for his project. He tries to contact Liang, but she does not answer his call. At the club, a happy Liang gifts the iPad to a stranger. Later, the effects of the magic chocolate start to wear off, and Liang slowly regains her memory of being 28 years old. She is surprised to see herself in a club, so she drags Bai outside and asks her about why she was brought there. Bai understands that the old Liang is back. So, she explains everything to Liang. Right then, Mao calls Liang and asks her if she has his iPad. Liang replies yes, but when she opens her backpack, she is shocked to find it missing. She then asks Bai and learns that only the 17-year-old Liang knows the iPad's location. In the following scene, Liang and Bai can be seen inside a speeding cab, trying to replicate the incident which Liang believes caused her mind to time travel. Despite their multiple attempts, they fail. Suddenly, a police officer arrives and arrests the ladies for intentionally trying to cause an accident. At the police station, when the police officer is scolding the ladies, Mao enters the room and bails them out. After Bai leaves, Mao asks Liang to return his iPad and hands her the chocolates that she left inside the car. Liang eats one of the chocolates and becomes emotional. As Mao is consoling her, she suddenly transforms into her younger self and pushes him away. She then warns Mao to stay away from her. 
Later, Mao follows the location of his iPad and finds it at a butcher shop. He tries to get his iPad, but the butcher damages it before returning it to him. Elsewhere, the younger Liang is inside a train, staring at a young man, Yan Yan. She immediately takes out her diary and starts drawing pictures of him. Yan also notices her and smiles. When young Liang finishes drawing, the effects of the chocolate subside and she transforms into old Liang. After having no memory of how she got there, she immediately leaves, leaving her diary behind. Yan notices the diary and tries to return it, but fails. The scene then shifts to Mao who presents his design on a cracked iPad and gets scolded by his boss. Later, Mr. Gao shows Mao the improper two painting by Liang, which has gone viral over the internet. Turns out that Yan posted the painting online with the sole purpose of finding her. Seeing the success of the painting, Mr. Gao urges Mao to find Liang and make her design for them. In the following scene, Bai reveals to Liang that it's the magic chocolate that is causing all the confusion. Right then, Liang receives a call from Mao, who asks her to meet him at a restaurant. Excited to meet him, Liang goes to the restaurant but is taken aback to see Mao arriving with his assistant, Yu. Mao asks Liang to draw for him, but she is unaware that young Liang is the one who drew the viral painting. After seeing Liang unable to draw, Yu starts showing Mao her paintings. When she sees them up close, Liang becomes jealous and tells Mao that she will start drawing seriously now. She then heads to the washroom and records a video for young Liang, asking her to draw for Mao. After this, she eats the magic chocolate and transforms herself. However, as soon as she transforms, she storms out of the restaurant, searching for Yan. In the next scene, Liang is with Yan, riding a motorbike at full speed. Yan takes Liang to a tall building to let her see the beautiful night sky. Later, after knowing about the secret of the magic chocolates, young Liang blackmails old Liang to have more chocolates next time. The two Liangs communicate with each other using voice notes over a messaging app. After finishing the assigned paintings on time, young Liang and Yan go camping under the night sky. As the chocolate effects only last for five hours, young Liang gets nervous when she realizes she is running out of time. When Yan tries to get intimate with her, she asks for some time and runs from the tent. There, she records herself, requesting older Liang to go back to the tent and kiss Yan. When the time is up, older Liang does as requested and kisses Yan inside the camp. She then asks him to drop her back to the city. In the next scene, old Liang signs a contract with Mr. Gao to design for his company. Shortly after, Liang and Bai can be seen in a restaurant enjoying their time. Meanwhile, they notice Mao and Yu inside and overhear their conversation. Mao talks about breaking up with Liang, and this makes the latter very sad. Following this, Liang starts eating junk food while looking at an old video of Mao, proposing to her. Accidentally, she eats one of the magic chocolates and transforms into young Liang. The next morning, old Liang wakes up and notices a beautiful picture in front of her, drawn by young Liang. She then realizes that she can also paint and draw the pictures. After that, she records herself asking young Liang to teach her to draw. Young Liang agrees to teach her and together, they start drawing and learning. One day, Bai approaches Liang and shows her the news of a meteor crashing into the magic chocolate factory. The news claims that the factory will now never be able to produce more chocolates. In the next scene, young Liang is attending a reception for her art exhibit, which turns out to be a big success. Midway, the five hours are over, and she transforms back into old Liang. Just then, Mr. Gao asks her to paint an impromptu painting, live, in front of the audience. At first, old Liang hesitates, but later decides to face the situation on her own. With her confidence, she draws a picture of a beautiful, smiling lady. This impresses everyone, and they start applauding her. In the next scene, Old Liang records herself stating that the remaining time is for Young Liang. She then eats a piece of chocolate, transforms herself, and rushes to Yan's place to meet him. However, when she reaches there, she is shocked to see him with another girl. Later, she finds him inside a biker's bar and confronts him. Instead of apologizing, Yan yells at younger Liang, telling her that he cannot give her what she wants, and that is the reason why he left her. Hearing this, Liang becomes heartbroken and rushes out. Out of nowhere, Mao arrives at the bar and fights with Yan. Both start hitting each other, claiming that the other should stop seeing Liang. Later, young Liang again visits Yan at his place and promises that she will give him whatever he wants. She then forcefully kisses him all over his face. Enraged, Yan pushes her away and informs her that he is leaving the city with his new girlfriend the next day. Desperate to be with him, young Liang returns home and starts her violent search for the chocolates. Despite Bai trying to stop her, young Liang eats all of them at once. She then rushes towards the station, remembering all the good times she spent with Yan. However, before she can stop Yan, she falls to the ground because of an overdose of the chocolate. The scene then shifts to the hospital where the doctors are trying their best to save Liang. Within her unconscious mind, Liang gets the vision of young Liang and asks her to come along with her. 
Young Liang tries to approach old Liang, but is shocked to find a glass barrier separating them. When Liang's body is on the verge of death, Young Liang starts drowning in water, and old Liang breaks the glass separation to rescue her. Old Liang embraces Young Liang and assures her that she will always be a part of her. After that, Young Liang pushes old Liang to the surface and vanishes into the depth of the water. Finally, Liang regains consciousness. In the last scene, as Yan is riding his bike in a distant city, he notices a digital billboard with an advertisement using one of Liang's drawings. Elsewhere, Mao sprints naked in the streets with a banner that asks Liang if she will take him back. Liang looks at him through her window and smiles softly before the movie ends.